then then I, I think that we can say also that this mission accomplished something else it proved again uh, and better than ever before how flyable the orbiter is as a spacecraft wouldn't you say Leo I don't think there's any doubt about it coming through that very high wind he had to uh, encounter in making that critical last turn uh, everything worked. The energy level was kept high enough, and, uh, meaning that he could get into his landing despite the uh, the high winds, and uh, he made a perfect landing despite it. It, uh, it just is another proof that we've got quite a machine here uh, for the United States. Also, Dan, there's one thing we should point out, that uh, there's a critical period right now, uh, as you, you reported here, from the first landing, uh, the plane builds up an awful lot of vapors and so forth uh, that are highly dangerous, and until they get those cleared away, uh, the, fl the flight of the orbiter is not uh, completely successful. No reason to believe there'll be any trouble, but there are a few more minutes now of some tenseness here. Now back to you, Dan. Walter, it'll be at least uh, 30 minutes before the crew finishes its post-flight procedures and actually leaves the spacecraft. Right on. So let's now take another look at their breathtaking landing of just a few moments ago. We'll roll the videotape and take a look. ready to copy these changes. Okay, just a second, then uh, we'll be right with you. The spacecraft with the chase plane right at its tail. You can see a piece of the, uh, part of the chase plane from time to time back there. The camera and the other space uh, plane jiggling just a little. The wind's high, much higher, a much... Uh